my viewers, Dave from Backtrails Territory again. Coming at you from Walker Creek in the Litchfield National Park in the Northern Territory of Australia. I'm out of doing a couple of nights camping with my daughter and I'll do a couple of uh, equipment reviews. It's a beautiful area, our campsite's um, literally four or five steps from this water pool. So couldn't pick a better place to um, camp with the amount of water access we've got. I'm going to do a quick review today on um, a couple of the water purification methods I've been using. That includes the life straw and also the, the most recent one I've got which is the soya squeeze filtration system which um, I only just started using today and I'm very very impressed with it. If you're not familiar with the, the life straw family, that's the beast there. It's basically a um, filtration system encapsulated in an oversized straw idea being that um, you insert the action end with the filter either directly into the water source or um, in my case into a cup and simply drink the water like that way. Very effective. I've um, used the live store extensively and I used it exclusively um, earlier in the year for a five day period. That was my only uh, source of water besides you know, boiling a bit at the end of the night. Works very well, a little bit slow. The one drawback with the live straw is um, using it to filtrate large quantities of water. As you can see, it's good for doing a cup or a canteen full. The problem is if you've got a couple of, um, say, one or two litre bottles that you need to fill. It's quite a pain in the bum to do it. I've seen um, other videos on YouTube where people have, I think, sucked the water into their mouth and then spat it into the bottle. I guess that's not the most hygienic of ways. Uh, and I've also seen a couple of modifications. I think Checkmate did a really good one, which was um, hooking your life up to a hose system and then using that to... So that is a gravity device. Um, ingenious, it works. Um, if you're going minimalist and you know, wanting to take a minimal equipment, probably not the best option. Um, life store is readily available throughout Australia. Costs about 30 bucks. Um, and as I said, very, very good, just with that, that one drawback of um, not being able to fill large quantities of water. So what I've just picked up is the Sawyer which overcomes that. Now the soya comes with a number of components including the actual filtration system which is about a third of the size of the life straw and a water bag. The syringe on the right is used for cleaning it and I'll go into that later. Basically this is a really simple system to use so pretty full but basically involves filling your water filling this water bottle up from your water source and you simply screw the filtration system onto the water bottle and either drink straight from that or squirt that straight into a, a clean water system. Uh, just going to do that now. No, not totally full, but you get the idea. This is our water. It will stand up by itself. Uh, this method, that's the uh, screwing system. Remove the filter end. And there we have the complete system. And as the name gives away, it's a squeeze system. Just so squeeze it and a reasonable flow comes out. And so you can use that to um, then decant into another, another clean water mechanism. 
The bags come in a variety of sizes. This one's a 16 ounce. Um, it's obviously good for a quick drink, but um, I've also got two or three of the other larger ones, and it's simply a matter of um, filling those up on the go. A lot more compact than the Life Straw, and you can see the, the big advantage of here is you carry three or four of these bags. They roll up into a very um, small size, and you've got your water priorities for the day sorted out. Another thing I really like about this, once we've removed the Talk about bad filming there. The, the kit also comes with a straw. So you can, as with the live straw, filter, uh, basically suck the water straight from your water source um, by putting the straw in. Yeah, sorry for the break. Basically, clip the straw. They can then go straight into the water source and suck it out. That's been normal. Um, I think it's ingenious. I really like it. Compare the size to the life straw. Said lot. Basically, you've got a complete filtration system in about a third of the size in the, the Sawyer. So very, very um, compact, and both of them do substantial amounts of water before the filter becomes clogged. So in order to clean the soya, it's basically a matter of getting a clean, clean water, which you either be carrying with you or you would um, just filtrate normally through the soya system, filling the syringe. That then gets married up with the back of the filter system and you just blow the water through. A couple of times to um, clean it out. So it just ensures that all of the, the um, any of the possible contaminated water is out of the, the system, which I'll do in a minute. So there you go, a couple of um, reasonably economical and very very useful pieces of kit. I'm quite happy to use either of these. Um, the soy is starting to win out with me just because of the size, but definitely there's a place for the live straw in um, any bushcrafters pack. Thanks for watching. Now I'm um, top my water up now and probably go for a swim. Happy trails. Okay, I mentioned the cleaning of the Sawyer squeeze system a little bit earlier. I'm back at the main camp area now and I'll just um, demonstrate how easy that is. So basically sitting down in my um, jet boil container, I've got water that's been purified earlier. Um, see the syringe there, so basically we're just gonna suck up a syringe full of water. A lot easier doing it with two hands. And then simply, see there's a bit of a nozzle on the end. Quick check of the uh, soil, make sure it goes in the right end. Put that up like so. And just squeezing it through. And I'll do that twice, just my own sake of mind. But um, yeah, nothing could be easier. Not sure what the SOP for cleaning the, the life straw is. I generally just get home and um, once I get back from a trip and I'll just suck the um, you know, a, a cup of tap water through it. Seems to do the trick. Yeah, I'm really liking this um, soya big time. So you have it. Soy mini system for the techies out there. That's the uh, what's it? Point one of a micron. So I think this will do um, most of your uh, nasties in the water. Probably won't do viruses at um, point one of a micron, but I could stand to be corrected on that. I'll do some research in that and post a uh, note on the uh, the clip once I upload it. Okay. Once again, thanks for watching.